OVA presents, in association with our Thomas Wooden Railway Community Channel, the top 10 tips on advice for a fun and safe Halloween. <laughs> Hey guys, Jay Louvier here. Well, it's that time of year again, and before you know it, we will all be out trick-or-treating and stockpiling our candy for the coming winter and new year. I wanted to take this time to give a few tips and suggestions to parents and kids to help make this Halloween a safe and fun experience. Let's begin. Thomas, take it away. Um, thanks Josh. Okay, here we go. Um... Cue the scary voice. Tip number one. Never enter a stranger's home. If the person answering the door seems nice and invites you in, don't do it. Just stand outside the door. If they insist you go inside, run to the next house and report the incident so the police can check it out. Trick or treat. Come on in. <laughs> Tip number two. Be cautious when crossing a street. Look both directions before crossing. If you have any younger siblings, hold hands as you cross the street. Tip number two. If you are an older kid that drives, let your parents know where you'll be hanging out for the night. I know this seems strict, but parents need to know these things, especially on Halloween night when things are most likely to happen. Also, make sure you have enough gas to get where you're going. Remember those horror movies, what happens if you run out of gas on a dark, disordered road? You know what, just kidding about the horror movies, but make sure to gas up. Man, I knew I should have filled up with gas. Man, I can't see anything. Hello? Is someone there? Hello? <laughs> Tip number four. Don't Vandalize homes, cars, or businesses. Throwing eggs is not cool and can get you into serious trouble with the law. Put yourself in the victim's place if you or your friends consider vandalism. You wouldn't like someone throwing eggs at your home or your car, would you? Tip number five. Young kids should always have an older sibling or parent when trick-or-treating. Never go or allow your child to go trick-or-treating alone. It's dangerous and something could happen. When the night is done, check the candy thoroughly and throw away any unwrapped candy in your trick-or-treat bag. Although very unlikely, there are unfortunately people out there with the intentions to hurt other individuals. Every year it seems that people are poisoned or find tacks in their candy that are meant to hurt them. Tip number six. <laughs> Wear reflector tape on your costume and on your trick-or-treat bag. Be sure to carry a flashlight that works and gives a good beam. Kind of like me. Tip number seven. If the house is in darkness, don't bother wasting your time. Just go on to the next house. Tip number eight. Always be polite and say trick or treat. Then make sure you say thank you after you receive your treat. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! 
trick or treat. <laughs> Tip number nine. Wait at the end of the line before you go to the door if there are people there before you. Pushing only results in accidents and still treat that. Man, a line? I can't stand lines. Can't take it. Can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. <sighs> Tip number 10! If you're going to a party later, remember to bring your brain home intact. By this, I mean no drugs or alcohol. Well, that about wraps it up. Please stay safe and have a wonderful Halloween. Thanks for watching this video. Please promote this video so others can have a safe and fun Halloween as well. <laughs> if you liked what you saw, then please show your support by kindly subscribing to my channel for more amazing content to come. <laughs>